All right, what is going on guys? It's Apollo One and today we are back with another video today to talk about Call of Duty 2017. Now, yes, I know the Call of Duty Infinite Warfare just dropped in like the past week and a half, so it's kind of out of its place to talk about Call of Duty 2017 already. And I, I don't worry, like you're not gonna see a ton of videos, but I thought that this would be kind of just an interesting thing to talk about, and I hope you're bearing with me and just like just take it as like, oh, another video, it's not a big deal. We're not you know, like I'm not gonna be throwing videos at you at, about Call of Duty 2017. Don't worry, we have a long ways to go with Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered, and it's going to be exciting. But I saw this article, and it kind of just got me thinking about like the people that are talking about how they hate advanced movements, they don't want to see it anymore. They want to see they want to see Modern Warfare Remastered take over the competitive scene for this year, and they don't want to see the, the extra movements anymore. And all this like people are kind of getting to the tip where they just no, they don't want it anymore. So this article basically is kind of reassuring us that the next year of Call of Duty is going to be great, and it's going to be uh, boosting the ground. It's going to be exactly what we wanted. The Vietnam, World War II, something like in the past that's not futuristic, boots on the ground again with all the new, you know, modern perks that we have like, uh, and gun attachments like stock and all those new things, but we don't have exo movements and stuff like that. It's just boots on the ground, what we want. So, uh, this is pretty exciting. And obviously this isn't the, I'm going to leave a uh, link down below to Gaming Intel. This is the article I'm going to be referencing most of the time throughout this video, but I also want to bring up something real quick. So first off, currently there has been a lot of talk. They've, people have found that, you know, Activision has the copyrights for a name called Call of Duty, uh, Stronghold, I believe it's called. And this title has kind of been in there because there's people that are, um, I guess, they're like looking to hire new people and I, I don't know it's basically I believe that Call of Duty Stronghold has been like uh, taken in by Activision and so they obviously have some kind of like code name for Call of Duty 2017 is it gonna be called Stronghold probably not but that's the current placeholder for the game we've seen this before in the past over and over it's pretty much happened every single year and now we're gonna be taking a look at uh, what the what's going into this so first off um, is the article basically says that we're gonna be uh, basically uh, references Michael Con from Sledgehammer Games and how he confirmed that a game was pre -produ in pre-production back in February 2015. So obviously they're making the game. They are going to be the next Call of Duty creator and it's probably not going to be Advanced Warfare 2. I, if they did that, they would be like, people would be very, very not happy like it's definitely being discontinued just like Call of Duty Ghost was. Uh, so basically the era is most likely going to be Placed in Vietnam or World War II, World War One, somewhere in those in those times. Uh, and actually, the, there was a Call of Duty 2017 poll on the Gaming Intel Twitter account uh, that just that said that just six percent voters wanted a futuristic game, forty two percent wanted a game between 2000 and the present, and twenty eight percent wanted a game between World War One and World War Two. Personally, I'm the guy that wants that modern warfare game. I want uh, a game that's between 2000 and uh, present. That's that's where I. I am. Like, I love modern games. I love Modern Warfare, the Modern Warfare series. It was my favorite. I just love the feeling of the games, the weapons, everything. It's just, it's great. I love it. I love the map, like, settings, all that kind of stuff. And I think there's enough, like, in that time where you can do a lot with, with it and you can kind of twist it. It's going to be a little bit harder to do that in the past, but still can be done. It can be done very well. So I wouldn't be against seeing a game in World War One or World War II. Uh, so basically, there was obviously the Infinite Warfare title has dropped in sales nearly 50% compared to Black Ops 3, supposedly, including over 3 million dislikes on the trailer. Most of you are aware with that. So people aren't necessarily too pleased with the uh, direction that Call of Duty is taking into the future, and that's pretty obvious at this point. People want to see boots on the ground. Uh, so basically, Call of Duty Vietnam or Fog of War was a title previously in development by Sledgehammer Games. They, they've they talked about this, there's been a lot of people talking about this, that they, they were already putting making a game in the Vietnam time, but it was scrapped uh, in 2011, it was confirmed it would be cancelled and put on hold, quote unquote, put on hold, and Advanced Warfare took its place. So people are really thinking that this game may be like all of the mechanisms of the game and all of the work that they've done back then is going to be kind of scrapped probably because it's old like really old content now four five years old and they're going to take the base of that game and work up from there and they've probably already been doing that over the past couple of years to make call of duty vietnam uh, or call of duty 2017 so that's probably where they're going to take it uh maybe they'll switch it from vietnam to world war ii uh, but i think it would be very very interesting to see uh leaks usually start to obviously come around april and may that's obvious it really happens every time so we're still 
very, very far away, and we don't, I, like I said, I don't want to talk about Call of Duty 2017, but I just thought I'd bring this up because this article has been going around, a lot of people have been talking about it, uh, because people are really, really excited, because we've, we've been in this futuristic, like, period for so long, people are really excited to see Call of Duty take that turn again and go back, back in time or to modern day, but probably even further back into, like, a Vietnam World War II, like, 1950s-ish uh, time period where the weapons are different, the maps are going to look different, and just all the things, it's going to be a completely different game, and that's what people are really, really looking forward to. I could probably see the sales just skyrocketing, and that's the that's the way Activision, I can almost guarantee, is going to take things. So, anyways, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Once again, if you are new to Carnage Clan, subscribe, drop a like on today's video, and don't forget to leave a uh, opinion piece down in the comment section below on what you think, what time period do you want to see Call of Duty take in Call of Duty 2017, and that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you're having a fantastic day, and I will talk to you all later.